शांति अव्यक्त मुरली मार्च सेकेंड नाइनटीन सिक्सटी नाइन थाइरो स्पेशली फॉर द कुमारीज ओम शांति वट इज द एम ऑफ ऑल द कुमारीज दैट हैव कम विथ वट एम हैव यू कम वट इज द एम ऑफ हैविंग एन एक्सपीरियंस वाई डू यू विश टू हैव दिस एक्सपीरियंस What is the aim of the teachers? Of course you will become strong in a bhatti, but what do you want to become after having become strong in a bhatti? The aim of what you want to become and how you will become that should definitely be clear. Just as the mother and the father became the example in the corporeal form to show you actions practically, in the same way in just one word it could be said what a complete and elevated teacher should be like not only should you be a teacher but just as there are the three relationships of the father teacher and satguru you should be a world mother and instrument teacher for the world although you yourself cannot become a satguru you must become one who for forges others relationship with the satguru and by following shrimat inspire others to follow it also when these main aspects are within a teacher that teacher is able to give the most elevated results it is easy to become a teacher however It is essential to fill yourself with the main sanskars of gyan and yoga as the qualifications for being a teacher. And together with this, only when you completely fill yourself with the sanskars of being a world mother, a shakti of having adopted divine virtues and of being a warrior, will your name be glorified in the world. Do you have such an aim? While being a kumari, you are a world mother. If you consider yourself a kumari, then while doing service, you will remain free from all attractions in some aspects. The qualification of a kumari is purity. So have you to have the complete qualification of being a kumari? so you have to have the complete qualification of being a kumari but together with that you also have to consider yourself an unlimited world mother all the souls that are thirsty and crying out in sorrow have to be given the sustenance of gyan and yoga only when you have such an attitude consciousness and vision will there be spirituality in your vision the bodily vision will be removed and the vision will be come spiritual each one of you has to keep the aim that you will become number 1 but how will you become number 1 only when you overcome all your old sanskars only those who overcome will become number 1 each one of you has to maintain such a zeal and enthusiasm within yourself and when all these kumaris emerge as perfect and complete teachers destruction will take place very quickly because when you become perfect a perfect world is also needed for you this imperfect world will quickly finish and the perfect world will come then the name of the shaktis will be glorified in every corner the main thing that everyone has to think about is never to allow your old sanskars to emerge you have to finish them in thoughts if these thoughts do emerge 
do not give them space or sustain them. Finish the thoughts while they are still in the thought form. And then finally, your old sanskars will not emerge even in your thoughts. Each one's nature is of course different. But what do you have to imbibe to be free from the influence of nature? A nature of easiness, lightness, and simplicity. To the extent that your intellect, your vision, and your words are simple, light, and easy. You will be liberated from conflict with your nature. You do not become afraid hearing the name Bhatti, do you? This is a sweet Bhatti. It is in that it is in this that you become gold. Whenever you have any difficulties within your mind, never let them just stay in the mind. Yes, put the feelings of the mind into words, but where? Do that seeing the right place. It is rubbish after all. Where is rubbish thrown? Into the right place. If you put rubbish here, there, and everywhere, it will spread into the atmosphere. Therefore, whenever you have a thought that is wasteful or sinful, you must not speak about it to anyone except those who are the instruments. Otherwise, you will become an instrument to spoil the atmosphere, and you will then create an obstacle in your efforts. This is why you have kept an aim. You must not bring anything in front of you that creates an obstacle. Continue to remove that and finish that, and then you will be able to attain your aim. You have been given the aim in every murli of what you have to do. What you have to see and what you have to think. Continue to move along according to those instructions. When beloved daughters are in a home, their father decorates them. So what decorations will you kumaris wear? Are you wearing your ornaments? Remain decorated with your ornaments at every moment. Never take them off. Royal people never take off their ornaments. Poor people wear them only sometimes. Whose children are you? Are all of you? What ornaments have you worn today? What tilak have you applied? That of sovereignty. You will receive the tilak of sovereignty from your parents in the golden age. What is the new tilak of the confluence age? The V for victory. The tilak for becoming victorious. Today, the Kumaris are being given a symbol in the form of a V. Tilak for becoming victorious. Acha, have you applied the tilak? What tilak have you applied? The tilak is the disgust of self-realization. You must never forget this. What earrings will you wear? The conch shell. Continue to blow the conch shell. Acha, what bracelets will you wear? You have worn the bracelets of the disciplines. However, many disciplines you follow, you will wear as many bracelets. Some wear 10 bracelets and some wear only one. It looks beautiful when someone wears a lot of bracelets. You will wear just as many bracelets as the disciplines you follow. Acha, what ankle bells will you wear? There is a sound from the bells around the ankles. So everyone should wear the sound. Everyone should hear the sound from the bells of knowledge. For Krishna, they say 
that the Gopikas came to him hearing the sound of his ankle bells. Who will come hearing the sound of your bells of knowledge? Your bhagats and subjects. The sweeter your sound, so greater the attraction. Wear all these ornaments all the time. Be careful that Maya does not take them off. Maya who takes them off is also very clever. She takes them off with a lot of love. This is why you must never allow her to take them off. Baba has hopes in the Kumaris, but the extent to which they fulfill those hopes has to be seen. Each one of you has to think that you will perform a wonder. Fulfill Babdada's hopes and make the stars of those hopes sparkle in the center of your forehead. The groups of Kumaris is very good. You have also received good teachers. Whenever you see someone's virtues, pick up that virtue very quickly because each one definitely has one or another special virtue. So in picking up the virtue from each other, become complete with all virtues. If you see a deficit in anyone, simply turn your back on it. You have seen this toy, haven't you? When Ramit comes in front of Sita, she turns her back on him. And when Ram comes in front of her, she faces him. All of you are Sitas. When you see virtues, imbibe them. And while looking at defects, you must not see them. Hearing about them, do not hear them, nor think about them. To listen and to see is the second stage, but do not even think about them. This is called turning your back on them. Then Bhaptada gave each Kumari a tilak of victory and also applied a tilak and sweetened their mouths. You have the courage to keep this tilak for all time, do you not? Just as your forehead is sparkling today, let it remain sparkling eternally. Acha Om Shanti